everyone welcome to our channel i'm so happy to have you guys here today so today we will be making these gnome candy jars they're so fun and so easy you can make one in just a few minutes and then i'll show you guys how to make this elf boot last week we made santa boots a couple people were asking how to make an elf boot so i'm going to show you guys how to make that so let's go over the supplies we're going to need some of these crafting jars from dollar tree as well as one of their santa hats with the fur we'll also need some of their rolled up felt and a bag of the pom-poms that they have out. We'll also need some of the Chanel stems. And then I'm going to use polyfill, or you can use an old pillow. You can use old t-shirts ripped up. Really doesn't matter. We're just going to stuff the hat. We'll need either some soda bottles or water bottles. You'll need some cardstock or cardboard. And then some of the Dollar Tree socks. We're also going to use either some bells, or you can use these necklaces, and some ribbon, hot glue, and a pair of scissors. So let's go over and get crafty. It's time to make our gnome candy jars first. So we're going to take a piece of this felt and the Chanel stem to create the arms. And we're going to cut that felt to be nine and a half inches long and it's about two inches wide. So you're going to take some hot glue and put that right down the center of the felt that you've cut down to size. And then you're going to also cut that Chanel stem to be about nine and a half inches long and glue that right to the center. Now we're going to take some hot glue and start rolling this on top of itself. So I just fold the first part right over top of the Chanel stem and hold that down until it dries. And then I just keep adding hot glue and rolling this up on itself. And so I have a nice rolled piece here that I can still bend with the Chanel stem to make the arms. Now, when you glue this to the jar, you're going to want to make sure that that seam that you have is going to be towards the back when you glue it on. So just be mindful of that. Now that we have the arms created, we're going to create the hands. And to do that, it's very simple. We're just going to take some hot glue on the end and glue one of the pom-poms on the end of the Chanel stem. So we have both of those done and we'll just set that aside for now. So to make the hat and the beard, we're going to take this hat apart. All you do is you take your scissors and the beard or the fur part here is just attached by a few um, set of stitches all the way around. So you want to cut those first to cut those free and then it will fold all the way open and then just rip the seam and it pulls right out. As you can see it comes off in a nice solid piece and then you just want to take the seam apart and you can pull the material off as well. It's very easy you just take out the stitching. So now to add the fur to the bottle for the beard you just want to measure where the lid is at and then you want it a little bit shorter than the jars. You don't want it to go all the way to the bottom because you want to make sure that it's going to sit without tipping over. And then you just cut that off so it's about a four inch piece. Now you're just going to take hot glue and wrap that around the front of the jar. And then you take the fur that's going to be the beard and you put that right all the way up to that top edge of the jar. You want it all the way up because when you glue the hat on, and put the nose on you don't want to be able to see the lid of the jar underneath of it so try to get it as close to the top as you can as you can see there's still the beard doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the jar so now to attach the nose we're just going to do a dot of hot glue and attach another pom-pom right to the center for the nose now we're going to go ahead and glue those arms on so you just fold it right in half and then again make sure that seam is towards the back you put a bead of hot glue right across the top center of the jar and then center those arms right onto the top of the lid there. You do want to hold it in place for a second because the metal of the lid heats up and so it takes a second for it to dry. So I just held it in place to make sure it dried all the way. Now I'll turn it on its side and you want to put some more hot glue right underneath of I guess the armpit I guess you would say and then hold those down into place and you do that for both sides. And once that's dry, all you have to do is bend it right in the center to create your elbows. Now, if you wanted to, it'd be really cute. You can make like a little gift tag and glue that on or attach it in some way. So he looks like he's holding that or you can put, you know, something in his hand like a miniature candy cane. Really, the options are endless. So now we're going to make the hat. So take your material and you're going to take that bottom edge and you're going to fold it up to create a triangle. As you can see here, just get the edges as close together as you can and then just cut the material so you have about four or five squares down. 
I figured it was about four and a half squares down. That makes about the perfect size to wrap all the way around the hat. Now just take some more hot glue and you're just going to go down the one side of the hat and then fold the material over and attach the two sides together as close as you can get. Now you do want to trim that bottom off just a little bit because when we opened it, as you saw, it looked more like a diamond shape. You just want to trim it just a little bit to give it more of a flat um, bottom. So it's basically like a point on the bottom. You'll see it when you turn it right side. You just want to turn it inside out so that you've got the right side. As you can see on the left, there's a little bit of a point there. So I cut it off to make it more even. Now taking your Chanel stem, just take one and fold it in half. That's about the perfect size for the hat. And that's going to slide up inside the hat just to give it a little bit more shape and to help you kind of bend it a little bit to make it look crooked if you want. I take just a tiny little bit of polyfill to stuff the hat. You don't want to put too much in there. Um, really just a tiny bit or like I said, you could take some scrap material or something. Even tissues would work to stuff the hat. And then just slide that Chanel stem up inside towards the back. Now taking our gnome, all you're going to do is very slowly start adding um, the hat. So I started with the front because I wanted to make sure it went right up where I needed it to go. And I didn't want to be fussing with the back of it, trying to pull it into place. So you want to glue the front on first. Make sure your um, seam for the hat is towards the back as well. So you just want to slowly start adding that hat and get it as close as you can to the top of that jar where you pull it down over the beard and the arms. You can't see where you attach those. And once that's dry, you just turn it around and just start adding more hot glue in small pieces, working your way all the way around the hat to attach um, it to the lid of the jar. Now, again, you want to be careful because we want to open this jar so you don't want to go down past the lid. I just worked in small sections until I got all the way around the jar. Now we're going to take another pom-pom. You can take a bell if you want, it really doesn't matter, or just skip this part, but I added a pom-pom to the top of the hat. And then I wanted to decorate the hatch just a little bit, so I took some ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree and I made a tiny bow and I glued that to the side of the hat and then put a tiny red pom-pom right in the middle of this one. And I made two um, of these candy jars. So the next one, I just took one of these uh, snowflake stickers from the Dollar Tree and I didn't add any hot glue or anything. It just stuck right on there. So that was it. These are so fun and you can remove the lid and put candy in them. They're so fun. I think these would make great gifts. Now, last week, like I said, I made this Santa boot. And I had a few people saying they wanted to make an elf boot, but wasn't really sure how to do that. So we're going to go over that now. So basically, you just want to cut the bottom of your soda or water bottle off, and you're going to cut off the top as well. You can see how to do that um, from the video from last week. And then to help make this look more like an elf boot, we're just going to cut off this top lid and have a little bit of the plastic still attached to help. So this is what it looks like when you have it all glued to the cardstock or cardboard. And as you can see, I don't have it completely cut um, the bottom of the boot cut off here yet, but we're going to attach this piece of the water bottle to the toe. And that's going to help create that point to the elf boot. And basically the um, way you, you do this is the same. You're just going to take one of your Dollar Tree socks and pull that all the way over your um, water bottles or soda bottles. This one I wanted to be a little bit taller, so I actually used a taller bottle for this one, but you don't have to make them taller if you don't like. And then you're going to take some Dollar Tree felt. I took a piece of cardboard and I just drew this scalloped edge and then used that as a stencil then I just cut out this little scallop look because, you know, the elf boots don't really always have fur on them. They have more of like this scalloped look with some bells. So that's why I chose to do it this way. And really any color of felt would work really well here. Um, like I said, you can use bells. I ended up using um, some of the necklaces that Dollar Tree has. They were out of bells, so I just used their um, beaded necklaces. So you're just going to glue the felt all the way around the top of the boot here. Start in the front, that way your seam is in the back. That is the best way to do it, I have found. And like I said, you just wanna work in small sections with the hot glue, because you want to make sure it has a nice tight fit all the way around the boot. And just cut off any excess and make sure you glue that together with the 
seam in the back. I just tied a simple bow right around the boot and I ended up making the bow more towards the side. I just thought it looked more like an elf boot from the side than it does from the front. Then taking one of these little necklaces, I just cut the beads off and glued those to the point of each one of the um, scalloped edges on the felt here and that made it look more like they had little bells hanging. Like I said, I couldn't find any of the small bells. They were already all sold out. So these beads work perfectly. When you look at it, it really just looks like a bell. It doesn't look any different. They come in a bunch of different colors. You can get them in red, silver, green, and in the gold. And I put a little bit of snowy stems on there and then cut off one of the large bells and glued that right to the center of the bow. And that's it. You could fill it with candy canes, a gift card, really anything you like, little lip glosses and things. And that is the elf boots. I hope that helps those of you who want to know how to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Come back tomorrow for our weekly What's New at the Dollar Tree video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.